that 1959 Chevrolet that I've been threatening to build for years. This car's been sitting since 1969. I bought it 20 something years ago for scrap iron, basically. It's been sitting right here in this backyard ever since. As some of you know, I recently sold the 63 Chevy Impala that I started my video series off with to a very good friend who's wanted it badly and made me a good offer. He had a better place to keep it. And like I said, he redo it kind of the way I was wanting to. So I sold it. And I was looking forward to getting on to building this car. It's a very straight car, as you can see. But it has rust in the rear floors and then the trunk and the front floors are really not that good. But I went to the paint swap meet this weekend and I found a man that was selling some sheet metal to a project that he had abandoned. This car has no motor or trans in it right now. It's a 283 three-speed car originally. But I've got a, I was gonna put a regular 350 in it and I will eventually. But I bought a good stash of sheet metal. The whole entire floorboard, the piece that goes under the back seat, trunk floor, new gas tank, new radiator, all kinds of stuff. And I was looking forward to getting on that car. Now that car is factory black with a red interior. I was really wanting a wild color for a 59 Impala in black. They've always made black cars. So I was thinking about painting it some kind of a turquoise color with the white 59 color. But I found something else while I was at the swap meet that won't need all this metal replacement. I'll show it to you. A salmon and ivory 59 Impala. There's your unusual 50s color. I love these things. And with this one being this color, I will repaint it that color. And I may go ahead and eventually do that other 59 black and red. Sucks getting old. Too many toys. But I am really looking forward to getting on to building this car. It'll be a lot easier to build. I mean, the floors and everything, just real solid. It had a padded dash on it, so I'll have to repaint that dash. It's just unbelievable. Running out of time on this video, so I'll have to hurry up. But another neat thing that this car has, a factory 348. And I saw a video of it running recently. The people I bought it from made it start up and it sounded pretty good and didn't seem to smoke. So I got my work cut out for me, but it's got a power glide behind it. We'll see if that'll live again. So get ready for another cool series on getting a cool old car going. I love the color on this one. My favorite colors are either this salmon color, pink salmon and white, or that turquoise and white. I got my turquoise and white 55. And plenty of other blue cars. So it's nice to have something different. Anyway, 1959 Impala, video one. Stay tuned for more episodes. Thanks for watching.